Hi everyone, well today I am in sunny Bognor Regis and I've decided, as you can see behind me, to go to Hatters, which is a Weatherspoons, and have myself a mixed grill. Just because I fancy a mixed grill. So yeah, let's go and see what a mixed grill in Weatherspoons is like. Let's go and check this place out. Situated on the south coast of England between Portsmouth and Worthing is Bognor Regis. Probably not top of the list for everyone's holiday destination. In fact, you probably haven't even heard of it. During the week, Bognor's a quiet little town. Not really a lot going on apart from shops and small restaurants. But at the weekend, this place comes alive with its quirky little bars, its live music venues. It certainly takes on a different dimension. And to be 100% honest, Bogner has had its fair share of bad reviews in the past, but as far as I'm concerned, that's part of what gives it its character. If you ask anyone if they've ever been to Bogner Regis, chances are they'll say they haven't, but there are a lot who will also say they've been to Butlins at Bogner Regis. Does anyone remember when Butlins was more family orientated? Mum and Dad used to take the kids to the seaside for the weekends and stay there. And all the entertainment was mainly directed at the kids with staff dressing up as Pluto and Mickey Mouse. And the evening entertainment for the adults was generally bingo or a very cheap cabaret act normally put on by the staff themselves. Well, those days sort of disappeared when cheap holidays abroad became more available and they were offering like theme parks abroad and all-inclusive hotels and, of course, sunshine. This put Butlins in a bit of a situation where they had to either change course or go bust. Change course they did and these days Butlins is more directed at the adults offering fantastic events like soul weekends, 80s nights, singles nights, all in good taste of course. So if you're planning to get away for a couple of days, definitely worth checking out. Anyway, enough about butlins. Moving on gracefully, as they say, I'm feeling a little bit peckish, so I'm going to head towards Witherspoons and grab myself something to eat. Steaks and grills, I'm in Witherspoons in Bogna, Hatters, and I've decided to go for the mixed grill, gammon, pork loin, rump, lamb, Lancashire sausage, and the chips and the soft drink, £11.89. You can go for the large mixed grill, which is £15.18 with an alcoholic drink, or £13.65 with a soft drink. I'm going to go for the normal mixed grill though.
11 pound 89 with a soft drink happy days well mixed grills arrived got some chips here there's steak some bacon mushroom tomatoes sausage I didn't realize it doesn't actually come with an egg because it's the large one comes with an egg but the small one doesn't oh well it is what it is I'm still gonna enjoy it anyway let's get tucked into this and see what it's like so I didn't realize that the small mix grill doesn't come with a fried egg it is what it is I've got gammon here everything going on absolutely fantastic Put some ketchup on, some brown sauce. Lovely chips. Root tomato. Looks like a default sausage. Bad sausage, actually. Better than your average default sausage. I'm going to finish eating this, then we go outside, there's a big cloud in there, and I'll give you my honest review on a mixed grill in river spoons in Bogner and Meters. See you in a minute. My videos will know that my reviews are honest. I'm not getting paid by with a spoon or anyone to make these videos. I do them because I enjoy doing it. Unfortunately, there are always negative and positive sides to everything. And on this occasion, um, the mixed grill in Witherspoons. Okay, let me begin with the negative sides. Now, for me, a mixed grill. Well, basically, a mixed grill could be anything. Could be could have liver on it. Could have baked beans on it. Could have lamb chops on it could have burgers on it it is what it is a mixed grill so there's no real set recipe for a mixed grill but one thing i will say that i think is pretty important to have on a mixed grill is a fried egg um, and there was a fried egg missing on this one which is my fault because it doesn't say it on the menu it says on the large mixed grill you can have a fried egg but generally speaking i mean a mixed grill without a fried egg 
is to me like spaghetti without the bolognese or roast beef without the Yorkshire pudding. That's me personally, I do think you should have a fried egg on a mixed grill irrespective of whatever else you have with it. Fried egg, definitely a, a go-go on that one. Um, as far as the meat went, well, sausage, although it was a default sausage, it was a higher level diesel default sausage and definitely acceptable, really good actually. Uh, the meat, although it was cooked on a char grill, which is fantastic, you've got the flavour there. Um, the steak was really, really well done. Definitely well rested for a long time. Uh, the gammon, I like that well done anyway, but yeah, the steak could have been a little bit rarer for me. But there you go, also for cause. Anyway, on to the positive side, positive things. Generally speaking, I mean for 12 quid, come on. It's a, it's a deal breaker in it. I mean, it is, it is what it is. It's with the spoons and it's, you know, fast food basically on a plate. Uh, and I can't really complain. I'm quite happy with that. I've thoroughly enjoyed that actually, apart from a couple of other th little things that I mentioned. Well worth it. And would I be going back? Definitely 100%. Thanks very much for watching. See you on the next one. Cheers.